Harry Potter fans rejoice. A real-life invisibility cloak could be just around the corner. Check this out. A Canadian technology company has made a major breakthrough in the camouflage world. It's a light bending veil that can make people and other items nearly undetectable. For more on this, I want to bring in Guy Kramer. He's the president and CEO of Hyperstealth Biotechnology. Guy, if it, if it wasn't April 1st, <laughs> you know, I'd be wondering what's going on here. What is but going on here? Your, uh, your CTV morning news show actually demonstrated it live. Uh, ben Mulrooney had it this morning. Uh, and that has alleviated some of the concern that we're actually doing some video trickery here. Yeah. So what we're what we're doing is we're we're bending light with a lenticular lens. And uh, version one is uh, a very simplified version of the material. This is the same material you see in 3D books and uh, DVD covers and movie posters, where by moving side to side you actually get a 3D image. So we're using the same material, and we've removed the uh, picture from behind it uh, to get that effect. Now we've got 13 different versions and the patentable versions are version two and up. So we've we've actually made a, a number of uh, big discoveries in this optical field in the last year or two. This is as close to magic, I would assume, as you can get. Um, you must have had a lot of interest in it, and I'm, you know, I'm not just talking about for, for fun, but I'm sure military interest in this. Can you talk about something like that? I mean, what are the, what are the ramifications of this kind of technology? Well, I started demonstrating it to uh, the U.S. and Canadian militaries back in 2011, and I've probably done 40 demonstrations around the world to allied militaries. And for whatever reason, they they didn't understand or or didn't want to pick up on uh, this technology. And now uh, that we've actually got the patents pending and we've released these videos, yeah. now I'm starting to get some of the higher ups coming in and contacting me for this material. So um, uh, the the intention was to keep it out of the public and to allow the military to use it sparingly or bury it. Mm -hmm. um, my concern is the criminal element using this at, at some point in the future and uh, non-allied countries using it against our soldiers out there. So uh, eventually I got to a point where we had to take out the patents. We, we just couldn't keep delaying this any longer. Fascinating. I mean, I wish we had so much more time to discuss this, but in terms of um, why it's taken until now to come up with this, you know, are, are, are you some kind of evil genius? Like, what is going on well, here, Guy? <laughs> my, my grandfather, uh, Donald Kings, actually invented the walkie-talkie just prior to World War II, and he had 56 patents to his name. And he taught me for six years everything he knew, and then he kicked me out of the nest. And one of the big things was how to innovate. And that's simply what I've done here. Wow. Congratulations to you. I'm sure we'll be hearing much more about this in the future. Appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me on. Okay, Guy Kramer's president and CEO of Hyperstealth Biotechnology.